Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question and trapezium rule and logarithms. Here is the exam question. Figure 1 shows a sketch of a part of the curve with equation y equal log base 10 of x. Using the trapezium rule with four strips with equal widths, part A show that the area R is approximately 10.10 to two decimal places. Please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Ladies and gents, we have four strips with equal widths. So four strips with equal widths. This implies that we will have five y values. Okay, now let's work out the height h of each trapezium. The height h is given by upper limit, which is 14 in this scenario, take away lower limit, which is 2 in this scenario, divide by the number of strips, so we have 4 strips. This gives me 3. Now I'm going to construct a table of x and y values. So here is my table. I've got an x row and I've got a y row. My first x value is the lower limit, which is 2. Now I'm going to increase the x value by h, which is 3. So I'm adding 3 each time. Hence, my next x value will be 5, followed by 8, followed by 11, and finally 14. So we're increasing by the h value. So in this case, we're adding 3 each time. Right, so now I'm going to work out the y values. When x is equal to, y is equal log base 10 of 2. When x is equal 5, y is equal log base 10 of 5. And so on. So we've got log base 10 of 8, log base 10 of 11, and log base 10 of 14. Now I'm going to apply the trapezium rule. Area R is given by the integral from 2 to 14. So the curve y is log base 10 of x. We're going to integrate this with respect to x, but we want the estimation via the trapezium rule. So this is approximately a half h square bracket y naught. So this is my y naught plus 2 open bracket y1 plus y2 plus y3, close bracket, plus y4, close square bracket. So now I'm going to substitute my values in. I've got a half multiplied by h, which is 3, square bracket, y0 is log base 10 of 2, plus two lots of open bracket, y1, which is log base 10 of 5, plus y2, which is log base 10 of 8, plus y3, which is log base 10 of 11, close bracket, plus y4, which is log base 10 of 14, close square bracket. So now I can put this into my calculator. So if I use my calculator and I round off to two decimal places, I get exactly 10.10 .10 to 2 dp. That there completes part A of this exam question. Moving on to part B of the exam question. Explain how the trapezium rule could be used to obtain a more accurate estimate for the area of R. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your answer, then play the video. Ladies and gents, let's have a look at the answer to part B. We've estimated the area R using four strips. To improve our estimation, we can increase the number of strips. So the answer to part B is to increase the number of strips. Moving on to part C of the exam question. Using the answer to part A, estimate the value of part 1, the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of square root x with respect to x. Please pause the video, have a go at part 1. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at part C, part 1. Right, so now we're trying to estimate the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of square root x with respect to x. 
Firstly, we need to take log base 10 of square root x and we want to rewrite it in terms of log base 10 of x. If we do this, then we can use our answer to part a in order to estimate this particular integral. So we've got log base 10 of square root x. This is equal to log base 10 of x to the power a half laws of indices. Now we can bring down the power using the power rule of logs. So applying the power rule gives me that this is equal to a half log base 10 of x. So log base 10 of square root x in terms of log base 10 of x is a half log base 10 of x. So the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of square root x with respect to x is equivalent to the integral from 2 to 14 of a half log base 10 of x with respect to x. Now we can take out the constant, so we can take it outside the integral. So we've got that this integral in turn is equivalent to the integral from 2 to 14. Outside we've got a half and inside we've got log base 10 of x with respect to x. So now I can estimate this. So this is approximately equal to a half multiplied by the estimation of this, which we have in part A, and that is 10.10. .10. So a half times 10.10. .10. This gives me 5.05. .05. So the answer to part C, part 1, is 5.05. .05. Let's have a look at part C, part 2 of the exam question. Using your answer to part A, estimate the value of the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of 100 x cubed with respect to x. Please pause the video, have a go at part 2. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part 2. So we now need to estimate the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of 100 x cubed with respect to x. Firstly, we need to take this logarithm and we want to rewrite it in terms of log base 10 of x. So our target is to take log base 10 of 100 x cubed and rewrite it in terms of log base 10 of x in order to use our estimation in part A in order to estimate this particular integral. Okay, so let's start off with log base 10 of 100 x cubed. So inside the logarithm, we've got a product of two terms, 100 and x cubed. So we can split this into a sum of two logarithms using the multiplication rule for logs. So this can be rewritten as log base 10 of 100 plus log base 10 of x cubed. So we have applied the multiplication rule. Okay, now we can apply the power rule to bring down the power. So we have log base 10 of 100, which is 2, because 10 to the power 2 is 100, so that there is 2, plus, bring down the power, we have 3 log base 10 of x. So now we've applied the power rule. Okay, so now the integral from 2 to 14 of log base 10 of 100 x cubed with respect to x is equivalent to the integral from 2 to 14 of 2 plus 3 log base 10 of x with respect to x. Now we've got a sum of two terms, we can split this into two integrals. So this is equal the integral from 2 to 14 of 2 with respect to x plus the integral from 2 to 14 of 3 log base 10 of x with respect to x. Now that 3, we can bring out the constant, we can bring it in front of the integral. So I can actually take that 3 and put it outside the integral. Okay, so now I can approximate this. So this is approximately equal to plus 3 times the estimation of this integral, which is 10.10. .10. And then we need to integrate the 2 with respect to x. So that will just be 2x, taking the limits from 2 to 14. Okay, so now we can substitute the limits. I've got 2 lots of 14, take away 2 lots of 2, plus 3 multiplied by 10.10. .10. If I put this into my calculator, I get 54.30. 
So the estimation of this integral is 54.30. That day, ladies and gents, completes the exam question and this teaching video pure mathematics exam question on trapezium rule and logarithms. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.